Greetings YouTube! Today we're looking at uh, my latest collection of bargain finds. And here we have uh, the collections of the Royal Castle at Waywell. Um, and I picked this up for five bucks at an antique shop because it has w pictures of weapons and armor in it. Uh, we have a copy of uh, Mac uh, David McCauley's The Way Things Worked. I picked that up for less than a dollar. Um, and I picked it up just so I can donate it to someone. I don't know who yet, but someone will get that. Archery Steps to Success. That's for my wife. She has taken up archery. Uh, core Rules of the Silhouette Core Version 3. And here's a cat um, from Dream Prod Press. I think I paid up. When did I pay for this one? I paid 15 bucks for that. All right. What do you want, kitty? Yeah, she's trying to help. Um, then we have the Buffy the Role Playing uh, Game Revised Core Rules. And the monster book, and I picked those up for three bucks a pop. I'll do that every day. Um, then we have Miss Our Marvel No Normal, the first five issues, which I've never read any Miss Marvel, um, so I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> I found this at Goodwill. Doctor Sleepless, Future Science Jesus. Didn't even open it, just bought it. A uh, Young Blood yearbook, because you know, who needs ankles and feet? Um, then we have a annotated version edition of we have an annotated edition of Sun Tzu's The Art of War <laughs> yes she needs to have be the center of attention at all times okay moving on to more books and then digital media ah the book of nothing vacuums voids and the latest ideas about the origins of the universe the Wave Watchers uh, Companion, Ocean Waves, Stadium Waves, and all the rest of life's un undulations. Um, a board game called Lotus, which looks like it was never opened. Um, picked that up at a thrift shop, at a church thrift shop for like two bucks. Um, it's very, very pretty. and it's the, the, You essentially build a mandala. And here's Mandarin again. Undyne, uh, which is a film with uh, Carl and Farrell in it. Hey, Lara? Do you got a minute? Uh, is everything okay? Well, I just can't film my video. Sorry, I got Lara's going to come give us a hand. <laughs> I don't know how to distract her. I'm trying to make biscuits. Yeah, that's not working. <laughs> Ugh, all right. We'll keep trying. She's making this a challenge. We have Undyne, which is a modern fairy tale. Kin, which I've heard interesting things about. It kind of comes across to me as uh, Laser Blast from the 70s, a remake. Smoking Aces, the Blu-ray, which is... a uh, an upgrade. I have it on DVD and I wanted to get the commentary track. Uh, the Greatest Game Ever Played with Shia LaBeouf. Elizabeth, which I got for the uh, for the commentary track. Darkman 3. So now I have 1 through 3. Uh, Legends of the Silver Screen Biography Collection. There's a whole bunch of biographies on there. Um, and I love a good biography. Yes, sweet pie. Oh, yes. Alrighty. Then we have Hotel Artemis. Which was actually a really nice, tight little film. I, I, I quite enjoyed that. Haven't listened to the commentary yet, but it's very uh, enjoyable. I really, I really get into that. Um, the best of Monty Python's Flying Circus. So this is a uh, six DVD set, and each disc is dedicated to one of the players: John Cleese, Idle, Eric Idle, Terry Gilliam, uh, Terry Jones, Michael Palin, and Graham Chapman. And then we have a film endorsed by John Landis called Dear Woman. Not expecting a lot of that, but I saw the name and I'm like, yeah, I'll give it a try. Uh, Fantastic Voyage, which had a really wonderfully informative commentary track. I mean, just so much information. It was a lot of fun. It was done by a film historian. And then we have uh, The Great Courses, uh, Famous Romans. Oops, sorry, Famous Romans. And J uh, Django Collection, which is the original... Django Westerns. We have a Buck folder. I can't remember where I picked that up. We have a really pretty mug here. 
by one Gail Turner. I haven't looked her up yet, but I just this is like I picked this up strictly for uh, a gift, probably for next Christmas. Um, and we have this, which is a really lovely German bell. It's in nice condition. Paid a little bit more than it for it than I normally do, um, but it has a really nice tone and a nice heft to it, so we liked it. Um, we got this, which is. The lens that lets you look at the world, well, kind of, sort of, like how an insect looks at it. Um, uh, but I picked that up uh, at a thrift shop. It's from 1985, and uh, I'll probably just give that to a kid or something. It's, uh, it's still got a bit of sticker left on it. Um, then we have this thing, and I did not know what this was, so I picked it up cold. So it's like, I'm like, it flops. It's got a spring on it. It's got a spring steel band. What is this thing? And it's ridiculously fun to do that because that's a soft ball there and my wife her her google foo is strong was able to do some searching and found out that these normally come in a pair and they're for massage they're actually for percussion massage which made me smile and then we got ourselves where is the button no oh, it's not a button on this one there we go it is a torch that actually flickers so it's a plastic torch that flickers which is just really really funny and i got that at a, at a goodwill for like a dollar um but my wife does camping stuff so she thought that was cute and we got one more section today that hopefully the cat will not help me with because the only way i was able to get her out of the out of this section of the video is she is currently standing on my shoulders because that way she's not on the table <laughs> thanks i got my wife a map and document holder that she can use for um, when she's hiking and camping to keep things dry um, picked myself up a 10 in 1 LED flashlight bit driver set. I picked that up from Walmart on sale. It's from their post Christmas sale. I just want to see how it works. I may not keep, I may keep it. I may not keep it. We have an ice golem. Because my wife really likes the character. She would actually like a plastic miniature of this guy. We haven't found one yet. Uh, not cheap, at least. Um, when we do, we may give this one away. Keep the other one. It's up to her. It's up to her. Um, that's not my call. It's hers now. And we have this stove, which my someone gave my wife, which is ancient, and uses uh, like white fuel here, and then uh, this handle goes there to control it. And uh, so you just put your put your your pot right there. Instant flame. There you go. That's a very basic stove, and this folds in, and the whole thing closes up um, for, for storage. Um, and there is a set screw in here that you tighten down to make sure that the fuel does not leak out, and, you, and then you would loosen it to let air in um, so that it doesn't you not form a vacuum. We have a set of uh, L.L. Bean uh, bow arms, which I could make a bow out of or a crossbow out of. I don't know. I picked them for two bucks. They look like they're in ex usable condition. And then what we have here, and this is not, this well, this bat was an old bargain. I, I, I don't even think it ever made it into a video because I, I buy bats and stuff all the time. They're just, they're just for weapon projects. But I got this nut and bolt at an antique shop. In fact, the same place I got the book that I showed you earlier about the castle. Um, and I paid two dollars for this, and I didn't actually—I haven't heard it in any way because I've just drilled a hole through the bat and then mounted it in here. Um, so it's the nut and the, 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 the head align up to make it a you know, nice aesthetic. And this is a big stick Mark McGuire uh, little league baseball bat, um, and it's <laughs> really kind of heavy. I've turned it into a a, a, a killer mace, literally a killer mace uh, or hammer. But yeah, it's uh, I kind of like this, so I can I can reuse the use both the bat and the nut if I need, if I want to for future projects. But at the moment, that's what it is. Um, so yeah, so that's been this bargain video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, I did enjoy the hunt and the collection. Um, and I'll see you next video.